Grady, how's preparation going here for the Panthers this week? It's going good, going good. We got a heck of a challenge up here, man. The team playing real hot, real motivated, and uh, we excited to get back on the field and uh, get back in the bins and be able to try to put on the show. How tough are these battles when you you know get in division and uh, you you know you all all know each other and everything? You know, it's always tough. You know, being a division. Um, game is always going to be, you know, both teams always giving it all, you know, South is wide open right now, mm-hmm. a lot of opportunity for everybody. So, I mean, everybody going to be trying to play their best football whenever it's a division game for sure. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all seen a little bit of P.J. What's the book on uh, P.J. Walker? That's yeah, man, some guy that def- so, uh, a guy that definitely believe in, you know, he can get the ball wherever it need to be. He's mobile, he make good decisions. Um, the guys believe in him, and there's a reason why they left, got chosen to lead the team at this point. And um, so he'd be a heck of a challenge for us, you know. So I'm excited to be able to play against him, and um, there's a reason why he's been able to, you know, stay stay up there and have some success. You, met, you mentioned them as a kind of a motivated group. Is that kind of because of some of these you know, changes they made? Recently? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm not in their building, so I mean, I feel like everybody who take the field is kind of motivated. I would hope so being in the NFL. You kind of have to prepare yourself like they're like a you know, a cave dog or something like that, like kind of that. that I wouldn't say that. Stuff. I mean, I would say when you're playing in the field, anytime you get, a t- get an opportunity to go on the field, the guy across to you is going to want to do his best as I'm, you're going to want to do your best, and that's how you got to play the game. It's obviously only week eight, so you probably aren't scoreboard watching, but do you at least have to be aware of how tight this NFC South is kind of as you're moving forward? There's tons of time to separate you. So. I mean, it's inevitable that you're going to know what's going on, you know, in, in the – um, you know, situation that you're in, whatever division that you're in, uh, everybody going to always have an eye on what's going on, you know. So, but the only thing that matters is focusing on what's right in front of you. And, uh, you know, the Panthers are right in front of us. So we got to do our best to be able to try to um, get over this hump and uh, get back to winning some games. And um, so, so, yeah, I mean, you, you always, you know, you're always aware of your surroundings, you know, what's going on, but you can't deal with the big picture until you deal with what's right in front of you, you know, and that's us playing them on Sunday and uh, trying to put our best foot forward. How were the, I mean, you one of the older guys, you know, uh, when you see a younger team in there, uh, you kind of wonder, well, hey, how do they move forward when, you know, stuff doesn't go that way? How do you sense everybody's moving? I mean, I feel like we come back to work, you know, that's all you can do, you know? I mean, young, vet, whatever it may be, you know, when you're up in life, down in life, you got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? You can't just dwell on, you know, what happened in the past, whether it go your way or not. So you got to make a decision to be able to go go forward. And I feel like we're taking that step. And um, as we, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anything less from us. And uh, it's a lot of football left to be played. You know, still 10 games left in the regular season. And, um, you know, it's a lot of everything that we want is still ahead of us. So, I mean, there's no reason to be down over, you know, um, bad performance last week. You know, you can't let one performance beat you twice. But at the end of the day, whenever you got an opportunity to go on that field and do what you need to do, uh, you need to, you know, be happy about it and be excited to go to work and show up and do your, do the best you can. Whether it's up front or, or in the, uh, in the uh, secondary, you all have gotten a lot of contributions from a lot of guys who may be lower on, on the uh, depth chart. What have you seen from kind of young guys filling in, stepping up, the next man up mentality? But what have you seen from uh, guys that fans may not know as well as some other um, you know, I think you said it, man. It's really more than a depth chart thing. I think it's just a next man up mentality, man. Everybody being prepared to step in in whatever role it may be. You know, if you got a defensive lineman, he might have to play inside, outside. You know, you got a DB, he might have to play deep, outside, inside. So, I mean, everybody just be able to play in multiple roles in, in this defense has just really, really helped us. And guys being able to step up with unfortunate injuries, you know, you never want to see your guys go down, man. So, um, but, so I mean, but it's definitely – encouraging to see guys step up and be excited to, you know, play in whatever um, position that coach put them in. So, I mean, it's a lot of guys making co- contributions. I can't go name for name off the top right now, but, um, but you know, wh- whatever guy you're going to see out there, just know that they're doing their best and they're going to be well prepared uh, to do their job at a high level.